Tech presents an educational moisture mitigation video. Moisture. In the flooring industry, few words cause so much anguish. Excessive moisture vapor emission rate, also known as MVER, is the culprit for many failures, both in soft and hard surface floor installations. One way moisture gets into your flooring is through vapor transmission. Vapor transmission is caused by moisture in the slab that evaporates toward the atmosphere. This can be from moisture that was there when the slab was first poured. Typically, this moisture soaks into the slab in the form of rain or groundwater. The moisture moves through the slab and breaks down the adhesives, which warps and buckles the flooring. When to use moisture mitigation. In selecting the right solution, there are several factors to consider, such as the relative humidity of the slab, the condition of the concrete surface, and specific job requirements and timelines. Challenging jobs that need to quickly be made ready for flooring should consider the Liquid Dam from Tech. The Liquid Dam provides commercial contractors confidence that their installations will be protected from moisture through the use of the penetrating moisture vapor barrier. The Liquid Dam mitigates excess moisture vapor emission rates. It is a two part epoxy formulated to be applied to damp or new concrete as little as 48 hours after concrete placement, with a moisture vapor emission rate, a maximum relative humidity of 100% or less than or equal to 25 pounds. The liquid dam exceeds the standards for moisture vapor barriers, and there is no need for shot blasting for clean, sound concrete, including burnished concrete. The liquid dam only requires one coat and will permeate to fill voids and gaps. Because it cures within four to five hours, you can install the flooring on the same day. How to install. The first step is to know your substrate. Test your substrate for moisture. Follow the ASTM F2170 test. Be sure to follow the instructions of the relative humidity equipment and the ASTM test method. Refer to manufacturer's guidelines for the recommended relative humidity levels for installing their flooring. Ensure your surface is strong enough for a proper bond. Test the surface with a knife. If it produces a fine powder, mechanically prepare the surface by grinding or shot blasting. If the surface does not produce any powder, your floor is contaminant free and you may proceed. Ensure your substrate is clean and contaminant free. If contaminated, clean the surface until it is free of debris. To mix the product, pour the Liquid Dam Penetrating Moisture Vapor Barrier Part B curing agent into a two gallon pail of the Liquid Dam Part A and mix thoroughly for three minutes using a low speed of 300 RPMs or less. Immediately after mixing, Pour the blended gallon container of the liquid dam onto the floor at a thickness no greater than one quarter inch. Spread with a squeegee or one sixteenth inch square notched trowel, allowing the liquid dam to saturate the surface. Do not move too fast. After spreading, wait five minutes before back rolling to minimize surface bubbles. Do not overwork. Higher temperatures will shorten the work time. After five minutes, begin to back roll surface with a 3 16th inch nap foam roller to evenly distribute the product. First, saturate the roller and then work at a slow, even pace. Periodically evaluate the surface to ensure a smooth, continuous film. The liquid dam covers between 100 and 180 square feet per blended unit. The liquid dam penetrating moisture vapor barrier performs equally well on porous or dense concrete. On porous concrete, it penetrates into the surface. On dense concrete, it forms a continuous topical film. While the porosity of the substrate affects the application appearance, it does not affect the performance. The liquid dam cures to a walkable surface or tacky film with no transfer to the touch in approximately four to five hours. Unused liquid dam should be poured onto scrap cardboard or plywood to dissipate the heat from the curing reaction. 
Once cured, containers may be disposed of in normal job site trash. Most floor coverings and adhesives require the application of the tack cementitious underlayment over the liquid dam. For more information regarding tech products, please visit our website at techspecialty.com.